My name is Matthew Ravenscroft. I'm the catering chef for Drake Hotel Properties. Uh, what do I do? I play around with food and fire and knives. So we went to the Ontario Food Terminal to uh, procure a very large amount of red chilies to ferment. And we like to put that on pasta, we like to we put it on pizza, we like to do a lot of stuff with it. So I've never been to the food terminal before. Basically to paint a picture of what it is, is it's like this 1.7 million square foot, basically like hangar, where all these people have wholesale items that you can go and procure as a supplier. When you kind of arrive, it's, it's very overwhelming. Uh, you kind of have a hard time sensing what time it is, and there's just things like whizzing by and flying. There's people, I don't even know what they're called. So basically, we go to the food terminal as a means to get like large scale amounts of produce so that we can process it without having to go through a supplier. And basically, you're able to inspect every piece that you get, and you're able to pick which which supplier you want it from and where that food source comes from. I think these are the chilies that we should buy. To be able to inspect each one to make sure it's of high quality, that to us is very integral because the fermentation process is so long that you know one moldy chili that ends up going in there can just ruin everything. We started really early um, and just loading everything in, like the, so much volume uh, of seafood, uh, of charcuterie meat, of all this pasta that we've been extruding. Our plan was just kind of set everything up, then our crew arrives, we can start unloading food. But this is also the first really large event that we've done with catering with me at the wheel sort of thing. So that part is a bit nerve wracking. For me, the future of Jay Catering is to create things that haven't been done or made or combinations that aren't really usually seen and, and can be enjoyed. How can we do things that separate us from the pack in terms of catering? How can we make a station that much more? How can we make a presentation of food that much more? So a great jump off point was that pasta extruder. Yeah, we do make fresh pasta, but like, it's no lie, we're doing it right now. And you get to see it right now and you can ask and learn about how we do it. it really excites the imagination, I think, because you're able to see the possibilities uh, with this and it's a very captivating experience. And then there's someone there after it's being extruded, it goes right into the pot and like you can't get fresher pasta than that. It's so direct and so intimate and it's, I think it's very honest because you can't hide behind anything. With great catering, there is no stop. There's no ceiling that we're ever gonna feel like it's enough. Sometimes that's a lot for us to deal with and sometimes it's a great motivator.